adventure. So we'd be a long run, like 36K is the goal. Starting at like 3 p.m. I'm actually on Archibald again. I'm sure it was the last video. I don't know, recent one anyways. But I'm gonna stick with the fire road today. So I'm gonna kind of go up over Archibald, over the edge of it, and then loop around the bottom and up GM fire road to the hike and then around to actually on GM. Some friends are over there. They're staying the night. So I'll say hi. I'm pretty geared up. Loaded down with energy bars and water filters and gels and such. Whew. That's it. Already the first number of hours without music, which is rare for me. And hopefully find my water bottle. I lost one when I was up here last time. So there's only 200 of them in the world. Special, special bike stack exchange one. So we'll see. If I find it, I'll stash it and get it on my way back. Let's go. Hopefully we get to see sunrise or sunset from a nice lookout. Right up the top of Shiam though, because I want to be already most of the way back by the time it's dark. We're like, oh, almost 3K in. It's been like 40 minutes. Pretty high up in the smoke now. Just smells like smoke. We're doing good, it feels hot. I think it's what, 30 degrees Celsius. So you Arizonians or Floridans are like, that's not bad at all, but it's all what you're used to. Find it hot. I like running in the winter more. Need a little bit of snow and rain, and I'm in love with the trails. Whew. Let's keep going. Got some nice lookouts. Really nothing to show though. The smoke is covering everything up. There you go. First bit of nutrition. Just crossing the ridge. Heading out of cell coverage in a bit. Having the Cliff Bar chocolate chip. I like the Cliff Bars, except the peanut butter. Well, that's the one that comes most in the variety pack, so that's what I get most of. Um, yeah, we're on fire roads for quite a ways now. Never been up this chunk of the mountain. Um, yeah, and we're about three and a half km and wah, 47 minutes. Maybe I'll start making some better time now. I need to because the bugs should have put on bug spray. Oh well. Okay. Really another kilometer in. I'll try and show you though. Right. Like there. That's where I was going up the scree slope with Archibald. So that ridge over there is Archibald. I'm looping around the base of it now. Hmm. Yeah. Let's go. Fire road. Five through four K of fire road. And then onto the Shem Trail. So we're two hours, 12 minutes in, 12.5 kilometers. Just get my first full view of Shem. I went 2K to the trailhead, 4K up, 40 minutes. They're not gonna happen. My goal is six hours. The whole thing. I'd be happy with 27K in under six hours though. So it approximates the race. So we shall see. I've got to filter water at some point too. So probably on the way back down. So I've got some in my hydration bladder, some in this bottle here, and I got another whole bottle in the back. So heart's running high. There's some beautiful mountains. into Shem now. Spoon Lake's just up ahead. Has a mountain to myself. There's one couple I guess that are at the trailhead who didn't make it up they said. And my buddy Greg is not at the trailhead so who knows maybe I just beat him. Maybe they had an issue and they didn't come. 
we shall see. I think it was like three, 20 minutes after I started running, he was heading up the valley. He texted me and said, so we'll just see if he comes or not. Here's Spoon Lake, called such because it looks like someone took a big scoop out of the mountain for the hill here. That's pretty close to perfectly round. You can see the hill right there and the lake. It's pretty close to perfectly round. So now we're going like, oh, where is it? Straight up there somewhere. Uh, no, over that way. You can't actually see the summit right now from this angle. So let's go. We're at 248. 15.65k. So I turned around now, and what's my elevation? 989 meters. If I turn around now, I should hit the uh, 27k, six hours. So that last 4k was probably the hardest 4k so far. This next 3.5k is just as hard. Probably finish with like. 1700 meters in the next 3k, 4k. So I'm gonna put you down, I'm gonna use my poles. I'll have a gel or something now, something a little sweet. Just try and keep my energy up. I feel like I'm flagging a bit. Go. We're on top of Shamton. It's been four hours, nine minutes. So I wanna do six hours back to the car, that means I got two hours to go back. It took me four hours to get here. The last 8K that I've done though, it's probably been the hardest. We've done 1100 meters of vertical gain in 8K. So, yeah. Oh, feeling gassy. <sighs> Down there I can see kind of where I started really. I gotta go back around a couple mountains out that way. So that's it. I still haven't seen Greg. He wasn't at the trailhead. So I'm actually not the top. The top is right there behind me. So I'll go do that just to do it. And then bump back down. I'm feeling pretty gassy. Oh, so that's no fun. I always wonder. I'm going straight down the cliff band here. Of course, I'd be far away from my car then. I have to go around on the road highway to the car. So we're not going to do that. Really nothing to see for town. The smoke's all in. That's it. Let's get the summit in, head back. Gotta filter water down at the bottom. Finished off one bottle, probably most of the hydration bladder. On the second bottle, which I topped it with Gatorade because I was feeling pretty tapped out. I'm still feeling pretty tapped out. But we'll get her done. We're almost to the trailhead of Shiam. Just passing, just past Spoon Lake back there. Stopped to filter at the little creek. And there's a Sawyer. Hardest part about the Sawyer's bag, filling it up. Uh, I basically added two of my big water bottles. I don't know, big, uh, big. One, I filled it, dumped it in the hydration bladder. Then I filled the other one and stuck it in the back. So I've got one full, one three quarters, and three quarter full hydration bladder. Just over five hours. Ooh. 22 points, one six K in. Still haven't seen my buddy Greg, so I guess he bailed. That's it. Or my coat, because the mosquitoes are terrible. I'm not actually cold. Just cover up the arms. Let's go, got about an hour for 5K. Mostly downhill, feel bagged. It's gonna be tough, we shall see. So it's after 10.30, right around 10.30, like 30, almost 33K. Change pretty soon here, I'll be crossing back over the ridge onto the town side. And even the thought of eating anything for the last hour and a half is not good. So, 
It's making do with water and I'm pretty thirsty, so it's okay. What I wouldn't give for a Pepsi. I don't have one in the car. Got water and Gatorade. Neither of which sound that appealing. What I wouldn't give for a just plain old soup broth. Well, it's been like seven, just over seven hours now. Let's finish out. Mostly walking. Just don't have the energy to run. So we're home. The dog did not get walked. Because we didn't really expect me to be this late. <clears throat> but not being able to eat for like a couple hours does not make you fast. Should have been able to run quite a bit of the last bit. Anyways, it was pretty light uphill. So. Should have been able to run a lot of it. And then should have been able to run the last two and a half, three K down. But was not, and I did a little bit here and there. So that's it. Um, yeah, otherwise it was a, a good run. I enjoyed it. It's a good test, good test of the food. We went to the convenience store and got a Snickers bar and two Pavarettes and a Pepsi. And they all went down and stayed down great. Uh, so maybe I just need to have Pepperettes on with me. Or, I don't know, they're McSweeney's teriyaki pepperoni sticks. And it all felt good, so feeling like I have more energy right now than I did an hour ago on the mountain. Um, that's it. I'll do a re full recap tomorrow, I'm sure, on the video. So get one, my second toe is longer than my big toe, so I'm at right foot, left foot, sorry. It's so often a little black. A little black today. I think it's mainly because of my socks. My two shoes don't hit the end, but my socks, the way they just slide around, they pull in the toenail a little bit. Anyway, recap tomorrow a good one. Ciao. All right, so it is the next day about 9 a.m. and let's talk a little bit about my run. Or I guess my power hike. So I didn't record a lot in the last bit because I just couldn't have to keep moving and stopping to pull my phone was tough. I figured out any lighting so you could see my face. It was just tough. Uh, I couldn't eat for a while so clearly the gel I had some power gels. I had some cliff bars and I had Shot blocks. Shot blocks actually I could eat. I tried having some in the last four or five K and they were fine. Um, but the thought of like more gel, it just felt like eating crackers, I suppose, like a big not moist thing in my mouth, but I felt thirsty dehydrated right from the beginning probably. So I'd be better hydrated to start. Uh, number two is I need to have I guess, a variety of food. Like I had pepperettes or sausages. I guess little sausage sticks at the convenience store as soon as I got down to one and they were like wonderful and I had some Pepsi and I had a Snickers bar all went down and stayed down just fine so maybe I need to take something like beef jerky with me uh, and I guess there'll be stuff at the invitations anyways um, and not just rely on say like energy gel food uh, same with the cliff bars they just like in my mouth it was just like eating paste um, as far as the consistency taste was fine I just couldn't Bear the thought of doing that again. Now, I had some fruit bars and say shop blocks were fine. I had this like fruit bar, kind of like fruit leather, I guess, but like in a big thick bar. So, and that was fine too. Um, so, he does some more stuff like that on the sweeter end, um, but not, not a power gel. So, maybe I need to try say, some goo products and some other stuff, but really, that's gonna be my last really long run. As far as my hitting 27k in six hours, I was super close. <laughs> I, it was probably like six hours and one minute to hit 27k. Now, in the actual race that I have to do, 27k, six hours, it is um, only like 1100 meters of climbing to that point, and this was 1900 meters of climbing. So it was certain, uh, maybe 1500 meters of climbing. So certainly more climbing. Um, and like I said, nutritionally, I was just on the back foot the whole time. So I need to be on the front foot for nutrition right from the beginning. Um, you know, I suppose at the aid station would be some broth. Broth sounded really tasty. Um, or some pop, though, maybe I'll have some of that too. It also sounded really tasty, but I need to make sure that I'm carrying um, some stuff that I know is okay. Like, like I said, like um, some beef jerky, some pepperoni sticks, some um, stuff like that. Um, honestly, even cheese sounds pretty good. So maybe some cheese at the beginning. Cheese and pepperoni sticks sounds tasty. Um, or I need to be carrying, you know, like wrapped up bananas in, um, Pea butter, 
pea butter, not peanut butter, my house pea butter, because my house allergic to nuts, but pea butter and um, a wrap and a banana. Uh, honey, too, is good. Um, and maybe, I used to make my own gels. So this is not my longest, I ended up at eight and a half hours travel time, which is actually probably not my longest uh, athletic endeavor. Um, I did a bike trip a number of years ago, and I did like four, four days of like, 10 to 12 hour days uh, and I felt fine but now there I was stopping in the convenience store and I just like walk in and be like well do I want to eat and I would eat you know an ice cream bar and pop and some pepperoni sticks uh, so I didn't have those options up there and I need to have them I need to carry them with me that's it uh, I end up some chafing so I need to do something about that up front um, my band on my underpants got folded on the one side and so I chafed on the side I chafed a little and I chafed a bit between my legs it was pretty sore last night it's just a little bit sore today it's not I wouldn't go for a run today but I wasn't planning on it anyways I'll probably put in a, a quick 10k maybe a slow 10k but a 10k on Saturday uh, and that'll be my week um, that was it it was a good you know, see stars got up on the smoke it was just nice it was nice to be out there nice to be out in the wilderness by myself so lessons learned and already I'm getting ready. That was my longest number before. That was like 29 kilometers, and so this was 37.8, so significantly longer. And yeah, went well. Went well overall. Thanks.